What is up, everybody, and welcome back to our Chicago Bears franchise rebuild here on Floopy Television. We lost last week, 23-16. We had a tough game. We had a chance to win it. Nice turnover by the defense, but then Justin Fields throws a pick to Kendricks, I do believe, linebacker for the Minnesota Vikings. That kind of sealed the deal. We weren't able to stop them after two minutes left in the game. But the defense, I do think, has turned a new leaf. If we look at kind of our standings overall, if we just look at our defensive standings, we are 12th overall in defensive rank. And I think if you look at, we have a 72 overall defense. That's pretty good. We are not doing too well in sacks, but in takeaways, we are fourth in the league. And that's really what has given us such a high defensive ranking because we are turning the ball over quite a bit getting lucky with some interceptions we've returned i think two for a touchdown we've had some very lucky fumbles that have kind of changed the momentum of the game but if we look at washington this week the commanders have the second best defense in the nfl they are top 10 in touchdowns allowed sacks red zone efficiency so it's hard to score them even when you get in the red zone and of course the commanders are led by carson wentz i do think taylor heineke is a really good quarterback in the nfl he just gets hurt if it was for his is he's kind of injury prone really fast quick athletic can make plays on the run of course make plays with his leg they also have sam howell who's a rookie who has probably going to be their future starter if he performs anyway like he has in the preseason so far but madden he probably won't because he's 67 overall if we look of course we got scary terry terry mclaurin curtis samuel johan dotson there of course it's gonna be tough they've got speed that's the real concerning thing you look 94 93 94 pretty good acceleration curtis samuel of course probably on the quickest end because he's got the quickest agility as well if we look at tight ends you got logan thomas 82 speed 86 acceleration and then of course the defense the star of the show for washington we have chase young who is was two years ago the rookie of the year on the defensive side of the ball montez sweat Jonathan Allen, Deron Bain. Uh, that's going to be a very tough game for the Bears because not, not so much because of the secondary or the linebackers because that defensive line can eat. Now, of course, you still got Kendall Fuller, Willem Jackson, pretty good in the backfield. Bobby McClain and Cameron Curl, really not a lot to write home about. They're solid starters in the NFL, don't get me wrong. Kendall Fuller is pretty good at the corner position but really the strength of this team is their defensive line so that kind of goes right up against what our strength of our team is which is running the game or running the ball so it's gonna be interesting on how this works but before we do that i want to look we're kind of five games into the the season or five weeks into the season it's basically a fifth or a fourth of the way there i wanted to kind of look at the stats see where we're at on everything of course i don't think justin fields is going to be anywhere close i mean three touchdowns 13 interceptions uh, i think we threw 11 in the first three games if i'm not mistaken i mean it's been a little better here lately hopefully he can turn it around and maybe get to a one-to-one -one ratio that's my goal at least of course the star is david montgomery who i'm going to assume is pretty close to top the nfl in yards in the ground and he is tied for third christian mccaffrey with 604, Alvin Kamara, 601, and then David Montgomery. All three elusive type running backs. And then on the receiving end for the Bears, it's pretty pedestrian. I mean, Cole Komet's had a last few good games, but Komet, Pettis, and Montgomery has caught a touchdown, and it's not good. On defense, though, things are starting to look up. Eddie Jackson is leading the team in tackles right behind <laughs> Risker, who I feel like the only reason he is anywhere close to leading the team in tackles is because he's always given up open plays, but he is starting to turn a corner. He's starting to develop a little bit. Really, Tavon Young has had a really good season with two interceptions. I think one of them was returned for a touchdown. If we go to sacks, Mario Edwards Jr. is really the only guy. I mean, he has three. Kyler Gordon, I think had two, and those were both last game, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe Briskers was last game. I can't remember which one was actually getting the interception. I mean, the, the sacks on the blitz robert quinn only half a sack it's really disappointing to see 
that he has not been able to produce as he is a leader on that defensive line. So very pedestrian stats all the way across the board for Chicago. Now we are playing a little bit of Thursday night football. I thought maybe it was Sunday night, but I forgot that uh, the NFL actually plays sometimes on Thursday nights. Also Monday nights as well. But we do have a short week. Let's talk to the media about our short week. And we're going to have to rest some of our starters, probably Linville Joseph, who also wants a contract. But obviously we have a short week this week, so no much time to create an elaborated game plan. With that being the case, I want to stress how important it is that we get play fundamentally sound football this week. And I totally missed what he said, but he said exactly we're, we're better than that. Stress of the team that's imperative that we take care of the ball and be the team capitalizing off mistakes rather than being the ones who make them. So fundamentally sound, beat the commanders and compete one or fewer turnovers. So really, that means we can only throw one interception unless we fumble it. That would be unfortunate. We haven't had too many fumbles. We we'll have to make sure that we take uh, care of the ball. We are going up against such a good vaunted defense. I think we might have to throw a little bit more. So it's going to be interesting to see how that works. Now, defensive focus this week, it says defend the deep pass. But I kind of want to work on defending the short pass because... If we defend deep and we're playing deep zone and they decide to run, it's going to it's gonna be pretty tough for us to stop. We saw that last week with uh, Dalvin Cook. So let's just work with that. If we start to give up some deeper balls, then we can just make an adjustment at halftime. Now, on defense, like I said, I think we throw it medium. I think that's probably the best thing for us to do. Running the ball against the defense is going to be pretty tough, but I feel like we're starting to develop. We can throw it. We've had, we've had some opportunities to make some really good throws in the last few games and we've been successful on them except for that last one so i'm counting on that we are going to do get one interception it seems that we uh always are able to get that um usually it seems like the ai will always kind of throw us up one so we're just going to go with that and try to get that reward now we do have an extra developmental player and i do think we just leave it with brisker uh we could go with someone potentially else but uh who's young darnell mooney could develop and he probably needs to at 24 he's at 80 he's a star factor Brisker's only normal development trait. Gibson could be also someone that we would want to develop, but he's been non-existent on the defensive line, and it's been really unfortunate to say that. We got Khalil Herbert, but we already signed David Montgomery, and then we've got Tevin Jenkins, the right tackle, who I feel like is probably up between Tevin Jenkins and Brisker. And I think if we can work on getting Jenkins a little bit more development, I think that's probably the best thing for we can work on brisker if we can get that extra uh unlock and hold on before we even do this no we can't i thought we could it's 20 for some reason i was thinking it was 10 points uh but it's actually 20. so on defense no one was hurt but on offense left tackles out and our left guard is out dislocated shoulder and dislocated wrist what the heck were they doing in practice short week and you you, you got them doing contact drills so the development already pays off for tevin jenkins so we'll go ahead and uh Go ahead and upgrade him. So now he's a 74. He's also a scheme fit. So he's going to develop pretty nicely for us. Hopefully we can get him to around potentially an 80 overall. Dante Pettis, who is our second leading receiver on the team, our first uh, leading wide receiver. So we're going to keep him at playmaker ability. And I think for Sharp, we'll just work on slot because if he ends up playing over Nikhil Harry and Pettis, it will probably be at the slot position. So a little Thursday night football here on Floopy Television as we got the three and two Washington Commanders with one of the best defenses in the NFL coming in to Soldier Field to take on the Chicago Bears who are looking to try to get back to 500. Who will prevail on this shortened week? Let's find out. All right, here we are at Soldier Field Thursday night football as Carson Wentz and the Washington Commanders who threw three touchdowns last week are going to try to carry over that offensive performance with a strong defense here in Soldier Field against the Chicago Bears can sorry my dog was barking can Justin Fields and this new and upcoming defense for the Chicago Bears hold Washington at Bay, we will soon find out. So we get a look at Carson Wentz first here in today's contest or tonight's contest. He's walking out with a three and two record on the day. 10 touchdowns, two interceptions. Carson Wentz looking to try to get an MVP vote, maybe? Because he's got Scary Terry and Antonio Gibson, Curtis Samuel, Logan Thomas at the tight end spot. He's got a few good weapons here. 
Can this beat up Young? <laughs> Depthless. Chicago Bears defense hold them as the first play of the day is handed off to Antonio Gibson. I know that's not Gibson, that's Robinson, rookie, who has shown out in the preseason this year. He gets a six yard pickup on the ground. We are trying to uh, stop the short pass and we got a sweep to the outside. We're gonna square up this tackle and he's going to get it. That's McKissick. He doesn't get the first down. We got a third down in inches. Good third down here. Opportunity for this defense. Can they make a stop here early tonight? That's going to be handed off. We jump to the wrong hole. And the rookie Robinson's going to take it 65 yards to the house. See Robinson here. He hits the hole quick. And look at who it is. Brisker. He just... <laughs> When you were the last line of defense, you just can't do that. All right, so Justin Fields coming out a lot earlier than anticipated, but with also a seven point deficit. And we'll do a little read option to start this off. We'll see what the defense is working with. We got a little kind of a stack box. We'll see what happens. Can Chicago move the ball down the field against one of the best defenses in the nfl david montgomery is going to try to do his part he is third in the nfl in rushing right behind alvin Kamara and run cmc and he's gonna get a lot of touches today don't expect oh my god oh nice little juke move on jonathan allen there but uh chase young's also there to make the stop so that brings up a third down here maybe pettis can be open we'll have to see and he is. Let's throw that back shoulder. Pettis catches it. Gets a first down, a 20-yard pickup. Justin Fields' first pass of the day is complete. I knew I shouldn't have thrown that. And there's our interception to none other than the best player in the secondary, Kendall Fuller. So tough situation for the defense. They give up a big play. The offense then gives up a interception and then they're put in a difficult position as that's thrown out to the right. I think that's Dotson, right? Rookie who makes his first catch of the contest gets them down inside. The Red Zone for a 17 yard reception riverboat run. Over on the sideline clapping, enjoying what he's seeing early in this Thursday night contest. Carson Wentz looking to throw. Patiently waiting, no pressure. He decides to scramble out to the right. Still no one's doing anything for the Bears as they let him go all the way 15 yards down to the right. Make that stop. Of course not. Touchdown, Washington. And they're up 14 to nothing. Oh, oh, I thought I had it. <laughs> I thought that was gone. I didn't even see the other guy to the left. <laughs> All right, down 14, nothing. We got, oh man, I, I really want to throw it because I want to get a little bit more active in the passing game. And there's Darnell Mooney, his first catch. Two for three with an interception for Justin Fields here early. Mooney's first catch for seven yards. Which brings up a second down and short. Montgomery. Falls forward for a first down ball on the 39. We have got to go down and answer here. I think we got to play to do it. Oh yeah, we got a blitz here. I think that's, that is a corner. That's not a linebacker on Mooney. We're gonna see, do we get? Oh, he's almost caught it. Darnell Mooney almost comes down with the catch. Maybe I should have waited. But it seemed like it was kind of underthrown. Well, Darnell Mooney really never was out in front of him. So, but he did high point the ball and catch it. That was, that was good. He just dropped it. All right, so third down and eight here again. No one on Cole Komet. Probably zone. We might get Pettis here. I think Pettis or, yeah, Pettis might be open. What are you doing? Oh, be a good one. Be a good one. Oh, well, that came back a lot, but we are basically on the 10, man. We've. Our defense has got to get a stop here, or this could be ugly quick. Oh, it's intercepted. User pick. Johnson. Thank you. We finally got a good turnover here. 
not finally, but I'm just excited. We've got it inside the two here on Thursday Night Football. I kind of got lucky. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to tell you what happened is that I realized after the snap that I was playing Johnson, so I tried to run back, and when I did, I just happened to be right where he was throwing the ball. Complete luck, but sometimes you need it in the NFL. So we're going to move over. O'Shaughnessy, Justin Fields, I formation. Going to try to run it against this defense, man. Holy crap. David Montgomery, four rushes for four yards and a loss of about three on that play. Oh, it's almost intercepted. Trying to get Mooney the ball. We're playing a little zone here. It's going to be tough. There we go. Oh, my God. What is our receivers doing? Oh, man. McLaurin, man. I'm telling you what. Washington is moving the ball on us pretty easily. Thank God for that interception because this could have might be 21 nothing already at midfield Carson Wentz under center Washington with a commanding lead here early in the defense for Chicago with really nothing showing here early on not able to stop them pretty much on any down I think they picked up just about positive yardage every single play so far What kind of freaking throw was that? Thomas. He's at the 10. He's running out of gas, but he's still going to fly and squirrel it into the end zone. All right, so Carson Wentz taking the field still with the lead, but with two turnovers on his record. He's thrown two interceptions. That's two. That's as many as he's thrown all season long. So they're going to go out and try to Hand this one off. Spin move makes Ed Jackson completely miss him. Is that Patterson, his first run? So, yeah, Antonio Gibson must be hurt. As Washington was up 14 to nothing, looking to try to go up 21 to nothing. And just like that in the NFL, it can swing. That's thrown up in the air and broken up. A little bit more confidence for Chicago. Home field advantage. And we've got the momentum. Justin Fit. Oh my God. Five rushes, one yard, and one huge tackle for the loss. It's going to be a game where Justin Fields, if they want to win the game, it's got to be on the arm of Justin Fields. And that's kind of scary. Oh, we had. Look who it is. Jonathan Allen. Oh, freaking great play action. Carson Wentz tries to take off and run with it. I think they're going to credit him with a rushing attempt. I am so glad that we weren't having to cover anybody that was down the field because that that play action fooled the you know what out of out of me. Look at there, God. Washington is looking to try to get back into opponent territory, and they do. And Robert Quinn, who has been very stagnant. Pretty much like not even a part of the defense all year. I mean, he's not even making a lot of stops in the run game. He'll go off to the sideline. Draw for the offense. McKissick now with six rushes, 43 yards, a touchdown. Ball on the 22. Robert Quinn has a shoulder strain. He will return soon, so we'll put Robinson in. Like I said, I, unless it's like the playoffs, no point in trying to force someone to go out and play, especially because we don't have depth. Second down to six, ball in the 18, wide receiver in motion, and that might be Curtis Samuel. It is who gets the sweep. Carson Wentz under center, McKissick behind him. Looks like it's gonna be a stretch out to the left. And he stopped behind the line, loss of three. And Chicago holds him here. Kruchenko on the tackle or on the stop. Forces Washington to come out here and punt it. Or, I'm sorry, hit the field goal. That's huge. Keeps this a one possession game. The field goal's up. It's good. 17 to 10. Commanders with the lead. That's not something, that's not realistic. Joey Sly would have definitely shanked that. Believe me, I know. Oh, we've got it. Can David Montgomery get an edge? And no, he can't. I'm caught by 
Who the heck? I guess great pursuit by the linebacker. That's all I can say. Maybe speed threshold needs to be tinkered with a little bit, but who knows? We've got nowhere to go. Chase Young scrambling. Where's he have to get? Are you kidding me? I guess I should have just gotten rid of it when I had the chance. I was just trying to get to the outside. That's all. And Pringle drops it. Oh, there we go, Montgomery. Running up the scene, catches it. Justin Fields, four for 10. The Sharp, talked about him. We said he wasn't going to get much action, but we lied. Pettis has got his man beat. He does. Touchdown. We've got a tied game. Dante Pettis leading the Chicago Bears wide receiver group with receiving yards and touchdowns now. We've got a tied game here. All right, third down and seven. Can our defense hold? It's going to be tough playing zone. I really haven't figured out zone man working good against their offense. Carson Wentz scrambling out to the right. He's got his running back, but that won't be enough as Chicago gets the stop and gets the ball back. We've got our four minute offense coming out. All right, I'm going to be a little aggressive here. We're going to see if Pringle can't beat his guy deep on this play action. Yeah, it looks like cover one. <laughs> what was that? Nice sack, Adams. We're finally getting some pressure. So we got third down in 12. Can we get a stop? Nope. Oh. Uh, Alex Arma, touchdown. Washington up by seven. We've done three interceptions. We could easily be leading this game. Oh, they throw a screen. I'm not even paying attention. Good awareness. Get off the block by Jackson there. And we do at least cause them to lose two yards. Do we even call a timeout? I think we have to. Oh, he's got, oh, it's another pick. Holy crap. Is that six already in this game? Yeah, it is six turnovers to six picks. Holy crap. Well, we didn't reach our goal, but at least we, I don't know. I don't even know what to say anymore. Well, I'm not feeling too good about this one. We had to punt it and Washington has a timeout and basically a minute and they decide to run it. Oh, got stopped in the backfield. That was very questionable call. A conservative call that I've seen Ron Rivera definitely make before as a Carolina Panther coach. Oh God. All right, so let's see if we can't get a block. Nope. They're going to take a 10 point lead into halftime, but we do get the ball first. Why not? Oh, he's gone. Do we get one back? Yes, we do. I'm going to tell you what. Oh, come. Are you kidding me? Pettis gets caught two yards from the. <laughs> oh, that would have been so great. I switched up the game plan to trying to run it inside and defend the medium pass. But let's talk about that fumble. That felt like a, a backhand. Man just backhand and slapped all the taste out of my mouth. That's a oh, freaking Jonathan Allen. He's unstoppable. An X factor defensive tackle in Madden the last few years when you run it at goal line has almost always been so overpowered look did he come off the block then no that wasn't him it's third and goal but it's like like this I don't have a shot I don't I don't have a I don't have a chance I thought that was close but we're definitely going for it I don't care what my coach says we're gonna double team Jonathan Allen we're not gonna let him beat us even though the double team didn't. Where was the double team? I guess because we got a touchdown. What? Ah, oh, booth review. Well, we didn't get it. Great. 
I am definitely playing aggressive here. We're going to see if we can't get a safety. Nope. Our, our defensive tackles don't 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 get jumps like they do. Hey Zeus, look, Jesus! Zafamo, pick it up! Oh my God, what is this game? I'm gonna be honest with you, I have no idea what's going on. This is eight turnovers. Like, I don't know. I mean, what's the record for most turnovers in in one game? Well, it's been since 1965, but it was 12. It was. The Steelers and somebody else I didn't I didn't really see so we're, we're already at eight and that's tied for the most since 2000 Just to kind of give you an idea. We are not going to run it. There's just no freaking way now. I will do this Oh shock option. Maybe Pettis can beat this guy They are we are playing zone. We know that if the safeties Well, no, he's gonna move over to the right Montgomery probably gonna be open Ah, we didn't get it. Coach wants us to go for it again. And I mean, I really can't blame him. Uh, but I don't know if we're going to have time. Yeah, we are. Pringle catches it. Gets inside the five. It's a gain of eight. Man, that, def that defensive line is something else. All right, we're going to try it again. <laughs> going to run and see if Montgomery can't get a touchdown. I mean, he's going to have 40 carries for 40 yards by the end of this game. Look, there's Allen. Look at this. D oh, my God. Of course he shades over that way there's cole commit touchdown chicago god just can't oh there's a flag that's like is that the first flag of this entire series is holding, holding. Oh, we'll take that but that's kind of crazy right i mean that hasn't been there hasn't there's been less than five penalties and we're six games in that's thrown outside. That was a huge penalty. Forces Washington to punt it here. I hope Mooney beats this guy right off the line. And he does. Throw it deep. Ball's thrown. Oh, you what? All right, third and seven. We've got another opportunity. Look at total yards. 344 for Washington. 144 for Chicago. Oh, he came back. That's going to be a fourth down and one. Third down and seven. I mean, 19 rushes, 21 passes. I mean, it's been pretty even. It's just the interceptions has really killed us. It's not really. It has killed us. We had all the time in the world that game or that time. And we were able to. I, I looked at all four receivers and then threw down a check down. If only we could get that every play. Maybe if we continue to develop our offensive line, we can. Kind of taking a gamble here by throwing a screen. And of course, a defensive tackle is able to stop us behind the line. There's a sack. Muhammad trying to get something. Going to loss of nine, so gives us an opportunity to potentially stop them. All right, third and 10. Make the stop. Get the ball back. Just get some points. Any points. Oh. And we did it. I kind of just want to pass it at this point. I mean, we got to move the ball down the field and we also have to stop them, but I want to give us enough time to... Oh, crap. Throw it away. No. <laughs> you can't make it up. You can't. Really, a field goal doesn't change anything here. We just can't give up a touchdown. Either way, Phil Goal would still keep this a two-possession game. And we're definitely going to have to do it now. All right, bring in pressure. That's the only thing I know to do. We're going to send it. Can Thomas get another big play? We get stuff. We can't move. There's a sack. I think three guys got in there. Oh, I was hoping that that would go back to the left. So kick's good. Now, Joey Sly is pretty accurate from 50 out. But I mean, you know, 30 yards in, he's gonna he's gonna shank every single one of those things. We have 138 yards total in this game. Total. Cole Command catches that. Justin Fields' favorite target. And I'm just gonna we're just doing all pass plays. We're not running it. Like I just can't afford to run it. One, we can't. Like literally can't run it. 
Ah, oh, that's intercepted. Oh, we're gonna try to run it this time. <laughs> we're gonna see what we can do. I tried to hand that off. What am I doing? I was a wrench and things. Fourth down and five. Can we run? No, we can't get away. And. Oh, there's another interception. Jackson this time. Oh, well, we get it back. That's. Is that 10? Is that 10 turnovers? It's got to be, right? Because we. We actually might have more because of the turnover on downs. It's cold commits. We got to we got to move the ball, man. Uh, we'll try the same play potentially. Oh, that's it. Catch it. So we need a quick score and then we have to stop them. A three and out basically. Let's we'll see what happens. Uh, all right, who are you going to cover? Just go out of bounds. Just go out of bounds. Cole Command, I'm counting on you, man. You're 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 literally our only hope. And you didn't do anything. Just run it. I wanted to dive, but that'll work too, I guess. Let's go with the sticks. Can Mooney? No. Oh. <laughs> we, we can't catch nothing. There we go. We can count on Cole Komet. All right, Carson Wentz comes out in the field. There's a, a six-point game somehow. I don't know how we've made this a game. I, I really don't I, I don't get it. But we have an opportunity. Are they going to run it? Yes, they are. Can we make a stop? We can call a timeout. So it's like passing second down and seven. No, a little draw. Can we make a stop? Oh, that was huge. Third down and three. I, 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 don't, I don't know. They're passing it. We need somebody to get home intercepted user pick there's been 11 turnovers we're one turnover away from tying the all-time record which we'll probably get because i'm throwing the ball yep there it is oh pringle catches that call a timeout that's our last timeout we got a first down but we can take some shots we're at the 32 we're playing zone Mooney, if you come up clutch for us once, can you do it once? No, our D oh, you were open, but we just didn't have time to throw it. Uh, I don't even know what to do because we got a terrible play. We're letting the timer off the clock. And what kind of throw was that? Can Cole Komet get open to kill Harry? <laughs> oh, what kind of play is this? This isn't what we want. We gotta give our guys a chance here. Let's do this. Darnell Mooney's getting this ball. Maybe Pettis. I don't freaking know. Oh, Tum -pum -tum -pum -tum yeah, Mooney all day. I can't. Uh -huh. Gotta at least get to the freaking, what? 22 something? Ah, uh, we caught it, but we got hit. Ah, uh, we had, we, he was open. Pettis could have caught that. We could have went down spike that had another shot. Yeah, there were 11 turnovers. Uh, I think that's the title of this video. I mean, there's nothing else to say. We lost by six. That's a, two weeks in a row. It came down to the last play of the game. And we just fall up just short because we can't sit in the pocket and throw the ball. When we get in shootouts like that, it's, it's, it's actually really, really tough. Tavon Young does get, and he's progressing. He's a seven-year vet. I think if we can get him up to around an 80. That would actually be really good for, for him. All right, we got to talk to our team leader. I didn't think the short week would affect us too much, but clearly it did, and we didn't get the... It affected everybody, man. Okay? It affected everybody. There was 11 turnovers. We broke... Our, we, I mean, there hasn't been that many turnovers since 1965. Okay? So just... Just, just calm down. We're 2-4. and four. We're going to advance the week. We got the new england patriots coming up next week so it's not going to get easier as they're five and one and we're going into gillette stadium the bears did lose still we're only at one game behind uh, minnesota loses i think the packers ended up winning so we still have a chance here we still have a chance make sure to hit that like button and if you haven't already subscribe i'll catch everybody later peace out